Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Just letting you grains know that there's only two days left to get your very own squishy salt shaker plushie. And this cute little plushie comes in an adorable fidget kit that includes out, out of, of this, this world, world theme, theme, a limited edition holographic sticker, a sticker sheet, two of my favorite fidget toys in galaxy theme. And like I said, sales end this weekend. That's two days. If you don't grab them now, they are gone forever. A huge thank you to everyone. Whether you grabbed a kit or not, your support means so much to me. Hey Greens, I am back with Mini Brands Mini Fashion Mystery Box Unboxings. For those of you who don't know, Mini Brands is a mystery box where you get to see miniature versions of known brands, whether it's different kinds of foods, different kinds of toys from places like Nickelodeon. And yes, even we have a whole series where we unboxed Disney Mini Brands Mini Toys. If you're interested in seeing any of these videos, I will link them down below. However, however, today, Mini fashions. More particularly, these mini fashion mystery boxes are miniature designer looking bags. And inside these bags, there are little accessories. We did a previous video where we unboxed 10 of these and we got zero rares. Not a single rare. We didn't get that dash garden darn stupid diamond because according to their list, there's supposed to be a diamond ring. I have two questions for you grades. Number one, what's stupid, the diamond ring or me? me, clearly. And the second question is, do you think we're going to find a diamond ring in 20 of these? I'm not stopping until we get a diamond ring. I know it's not real diamond, but let's just pretend it is. So today we are going to unbox 20 of the mini fashions to the point that even the company itself, they didn't even bother unpacking this. They're like, we're just going to give you an entire box. So we have a whole untouched box from the warehouse. Plus two. So Jackie, the question is, how much did you spend on this? Well, you see, here's the thing. Each one of these is $15 and there's 20 of them, plus Canadian taxes. I spent approximately $350. Yes, you heard. This cost me $350 because I want to get to the bottom of this. So many creators get sent these things by the company itself, so it's normal to have rares in them. Whereas we've seen that the more I've unboxed, the more the rares are almost like a mythical creature. I understand they're rare, but bear with me here. They should be less rare than never. So, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here, and let me know in the comment section below. I do have sharp pointy things, just be very careful, okay? Very cautious. Let me know if you think we're gonna find that diamond ring or any of the rare bags. All right, so first things first, let me just, I'm gonna, give me a second, I'm just gonna put this away. It's, it's quite, quite the big, quite the big thing. Give me a second. There. And as per customary opening, we're going to do this in real time for the first time and then quicker for the rest because we cannot do this slow motion for all 20. Y'all gonna hate me. Oh my God, I already hate myself, so. <laughs> These things are so sharp. Look at that. It gets right under your nail. Oh gosh. I'm doing it! I don't know. What's the point of having these little tab things if they ain't gonna make my life easy? Huh? What? I can't hear you. Come closer so I can hear you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll let it go this time. Alright, we're just not gonna worry about this. Let's just Open it. Oh gosh. What are you? Bruh. This is just the first one. I have a feeling we're not gonna find the diamonds. <laughs> we're just gonna go in with a knife. That's it. Oh my god, it's glued. What the shrimp? Two hours later. Holy shrimp, that took way longer than it should have. All right, let's see what our first one is. All right, so we have our items. As usual, I find the stickers in here. Oh wait, that's the guide, we'll look at it. Where's the sticker? Okay, it's somewhere in there. All right, so here's the guide. We can get any of the two dogs over here, glasses, any kind of lipstick or wallets any of two colors. The variety really isn't that great. Honestly, I find the Real Littles bags and the Real Littles backpacks way better. And they're cheaper. That's just my opinion. If you want to fight me, meet me outside because I'm not going to show up. <laughs> and 
here are the collection of bags that we can get. So these are the normal bags, more normal bags, and these are the special editions and the diamond ring. So we didn't get any of this, none of that, despite the fact that we opened 10 of them. $150. I've spent $500 on these things. You know what? At this point, a diamond, a really low quality diamond ring would probably be cheaper at this point. And yes, we can get any of these as well. Let's start with the baggie. And our first bag is a Louis Vuitton type bag. It took me a while to realize that the MF mini fashion, not the other thing that my head went to automatically. And the inside of the bag just has a little bit of fluff. Again, the quality of these bags is pretty good. I would say the size is good for a Barbie or a small sized BJD, like the little floofs. Just so you have an idea for the scale, it is approximately this many inches. Height-wise, this many inches. So yes, I do like this one. And nothing else in here. In here are the accessories and the sticker, which I'll show you. Sticker is usually bent, and just the sticker of the bags in the set. I've never seen a more useless sticker, to be very honest, as someone who loves stickers. Stickers! It was meh. Whoa, why does this smell so strong? Holy shrimp. Okay, let's pull everything out. Oh, we have a dog, my little doggy. Oh, the dog really smells like perfume. So we get the tiny chihuahua. I'm not sure if it's the same color as the previous one, but here they are side by side as a reference from the previous video. We either have a lip gloss or a cream. And lastly, I think this was a mascara, no, a lipstick. Okay, so we do have a lipstick. I love the fact that these open, but mini brands took so long to make products that actually open, but Shopkins was way ahead. Oh, in the previous video, I asked your grains, those little perfume bottles that came with the bags. I asked you if they smelled like perfume and many of you went back to your collection, picked up the perfume and said, actually it does. And it says it somewhere on their Twitter. I think. So it wasn't just me. I like to sniff things and put things in my mouth that I probably shouldn't. That's an eraser. And if you are wondering, the dog does not show up in the bag. It kind of just hides in there. Look at that. They really should have made the dog at least able to be big enough to peek out of the bag. But Mini Brands is not exactly known for, you know, making things to scale with their own things. But yeah, everything else does fit. Voila, like us all. <laughs> Next baggie is, oh, wait, wait. No, mm, is it? This is so confusing. I think it is. So these are the rares, but the issue is this one clearly looks glittery and this one is just metallic. Let me get closer. Glittery, metallic. And this bag is just exactly this green one, which is regular, but pink. I guess it's a rare. Wow, how unexcited this. <laughs> I'm so salty, even a rare now is making me confused. Okay, I'm going to assume that this is a rare because it is a pink metallic as opposed to the pink glitter. This set is really garbage though. The bag itself is actually really cute. I love the designs. Even the clasps are made out of metal. This is a pretty color. The green one that is not rare is also one of my favorites. So I'm gonna have to say this design itself is really, really cute and I really do love it. And what's on the inside? Okay, we have a green bottle of perfume and yeah, holy moly, it smells really good though. Brings me back to when I was a child and everyone was just wearing perfume all the time. It smells good. We actually get another dog. This time it's the beige color as opposed to the brown color. The paint job is a little meh on the nose, but I mean, bad paint jobs are not exactly new when it comes to um, mini brands. Let me show you. And then we have a nail polish and that one does not open. Basically purple and pink colors. That's what we have. And then a dumb sticker. So I'm surprised we, we got a rare. Yes. As always, the bigger one first and, oh yes, I love this little satchel because look at that, it's a bag. There's nothing on the inside. And this little strap thing, look at that. You could just pull it and it closes the bag. Like how cute is that? Very cute. It's not a rare by the way, but it is very cute. 
you are. Oh, more sticker. We have the adorable glasses that do open up. So that is really cool. I got a few of these in the last opening. We have a lip gloss. Ooh, very cute. I really like the red one. It doesn't close. Oh, there you go. No, it doesn't close fully. It's a little wonky and it just wants to open. You have to really push it in. But okay, lip gloss is there. And we have a yellow perfume bottle. This one smells very faint. The first dog really smelled much more perfumey. I don't know why. Why did they perfume the dog? All right, what you got for me? The green one. So this is basically the same thing as that one. That's that's exactly what I was telling you grains about. This is just the green one. This is a metallic pink instead of a glitter pink. But on top of that, not only is it the same bag, that is just lazy rares. I know for the most part, they just make it gold or a different color, but sometimes it just reminds me of those shiny Pokemon that just barely shows a difference in color. And for the amount of rarity that you make this, uh, I like the green one better. Same exact design, same exact layout. I do like the experience of removing the fluff from the inside though. What do we got? And our items are... Skia, a rectangular perfume bottle that does open and... Yep, smells good. I really do enjoy that this actually smells good. A green wallet, which is a little bit of a challenge to close, but yeah, it does close at some point. There you go. Also still has MF right on top. And a tiny makeup brush. The details of this bag are exactly the same as the other one. We still have the metal clasps a little bit of everywhere. You have the handle and the shoulder strap. Still my favorite. And, oh, okay. At first I thought that this was actually a rare or any kind of something special edition, but no, just because it's metallic, it doesn't mean it's special edition. As you can see here, this is a regular bag. So that's why you can tell that this one, even though it's metallic, just like that one, I had a hard time believing that it was a special edition or a rare. It could have been and this one is much smaller than the other bag. It does have cute little charms. The entire bag itself is not my aesthetic because it is really stiff and you can't actually close it. Look at that. Eh. Yeah, you can't close it. And for our accessories, what you get? Oh, that's new. Here's a sticker. So we have the pair of glasses. Very cool. And I'm guessing this is another lipstick. Yes. So we have the red lipstick. Those are always cute. Mini lipsticks are always adorable. Mini lip gloss, also adorable. And what are you? A cream? Oh, it's like a little cream. Do you get out? No. So we have a moisturizing type cream. We didn't get this one last time, so that's a good sign. And so far we haven't gotten any doubles yet within this set so far. If you grains are anything like me, you probably like fresh, delicious foods, such as from today's sponsor, HelloFresh. Let's make something. Lebanese inspired beef and feta meatballs. Time to cut and poof, magic. Beef and spices combined, like kaso and cooked. And here it is looking absolutely delicious. This brings me back to my origins back in Egypt because we do be eating similar. Bottoms up. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's so fresh and summery. I'm gonna be honest, I did steal a couple of meatballs before this video, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As you saw, the food from HelloFresh is not only delicious, but the produce goes from the farm to your door within one week, which means that their spring menu features the season's freshest flavors. And with HelloFresh, I know that I'm not going to have to stress about what the next meal is going to be or what the portions I need to chop up are gonna be because the recipes are step-by-step -step easy and pre-portioned. So I don't need to worry about prep time. Which brings me to the fact that HelloFresh is the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all packaging is recyclable. So you're cutting down on waste by at least 25% versus grocery shopping. So what are you waiting for? Check the link down below. Go to hellofresh.com and use the code nerdycrafter16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. That's hellofresh.com. Use the code nerdycrafter16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video and being huge supporters of this channel. You are, oh, the leopardy, giraffey, printy thing. 
And this one I really like because there's a magnetic front. So a lot of these we already got in a previous unboxing. Again, if you want to see which ones we got, because the accessories differ every time. But yeah, there's a magnetic front here. It's a really cute inside, very velvety and very soft. And we have a metallic strap and a little handle over here. This is probably one of the cuter bags. I really love this one. Accessories include another puppy. <laughs> Doesn't smell like anything. It really was the first puppy that smelled really strong. Useless sticker, the beige dog, more glasses, and another brush. Are you rare? No. But we did get this one last time. By the way, if you do know what these brands are supposed to replicate, I know some of you told me that there was Louis Vuitton, and the green one was something that was pretty cool. I forgot what it was. That green one here on the screen. I forget. I know some of you told me some of the brands, but some of them were not identifiable. So if you know, again, let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, we have this pink one again also. Hear it? Magnetic. And the inside floof. This one is much more narrow than the other ones. So I don't know if a dog's gonna fit in there. Let's find out. Let's see how you doing, little doggy. Oh gosh, doggy. Oh gosh, doggy. Barely fits. It's okay, doggy. You okay? And it won't close. No. So again, not to scale with their own items. Dog will not fit into their own bags. They're not interchangeable materials. Accessory time. Sticker. Another of the nail polish. This one is the darker color. Glasses. They could have put more glasses in different kinds of shades. Why aren't there like cool long glasses? Or little square ones or red ones? I don't get it. And brush. Bag is. All right, so we have our first double. Not too bad considering we've done quite a bit, but now the accessories. Oh, there, oh, oh, sticker. Red lip gloss. This one actually closes way better. The yellow perfume. Yes. Sunglasses. We have, okay, our second double in a row. Accessories come in. Oh, a lipstick. This time it is the pink one. We have another dog. This one is the brown one. You know what? The brown dog smells good. Mmm, I could sniff you all day. <sighs> what, this ain't weird, right, puppy? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Whatever. <laughs> And another lotion. I still want to let you grains know that these things are still not working. Look at that. So these are a pain in the butt. I hate these so much. It's taking me longer to open these things than it is to actually unpack what's on the inside. So Zuru, these are absolute trash. They're garbage. They're annoying. They're probably the worst user experience in unpacking a thing ever when it comes to mystery boxes. I'm just gonna let you know right away. I hate these. I hate these so much. <laughs> You break them my heart, you waste them my time. That's why I'm just doing them quickly off camera for you. You are, oh, ooh, how exciting. I am bursting with joy, confetti everywhere. Another rare, okay. So again, I would say this is the worst product. I would never say get this. I feel like it's just lazy to its core because the Rare is just a golden version of the exact same bag. Again, I know that their other versions are gold versions of specific toys, but to make them this rare and just do a color change as opposed to add glitter or something that makes it a little bit more interesting, I find it very mess. Especially they took one of the worst bags, one of the worst choices they could have made. I'm very salty. But at least the good news is we got two out of the three rares. The next rare that we should be hopefully getting is the diamond ring. Is it in here or does it come on its own? I wonder. Sticker. We have the pink wallet, yellow MF perfume. Yes. And what color lipstick do we get this time? And it's another pink one. Is that just... I'm not even gonna clap very fast for you. That's how angry. <laughs> I hate this. Give me the diamond and I'll be fine. And just to let you brains know, we are officially at the halfway point of all 20 packs. You are another. This one is a triple of the brown MF, I guess Louis Vuitton. Accessories. Okay. Greenish blue perfume. Mm-hmm. Oh, what are you? You are, oh, we have mini makeup. 
That is adorable. So that's the first time we get this one. And another lipstick. Yes, we have the red lipstick. Oh, and the stickers. I just, I just give up on the stickers because they're ugly. This is going to be a double. Oh, that was a funny rip. No. So in this set, this is the first time we are getting the super colorful one. Again, this one is magnetic, the fluffy inside. And this design is still absolutely adorable. There's always some bits and pieces here that could use better finishing, but at the size that they're at, I'm happy. Well, not really happy, but I'm okay with it, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, okay. We get another cream. I don't know if this is cream or something else I should know, but I don't know anything about makeup. Oh, we get our first compact with a little blush. We got this in the previous unboxing and the mirror is absolute trash. Not to be compared with the real littles that actually gave us a mirror. Just saying. This one is just a aluminum foil, but whatever, whatever. Favoritism. And a brush. Oh, I see a golden one. Okay, a new one for this unboxing. It has the little clasp. Oh, okay. This clasp works better than the other one that we got because it wouldn't actually close in the previous one. Very nice. Again, this is one of my favorite bags. Very different, very cute. I love the different color divisions. The inside, a little on the velvety side. But yeah, this one actually closes or not anymore. Okay, it does. Very much so a mixture of emotions. Oh, okay. I thought we had more accessories. It's just one of them divided, which is our perfume. What happened to you? Hello? I don't know what happened here. Weird. Mm -hmm. A brush. Oh, look at that. We actually get another compact with a little blush and the fake mirror. All right, this one feels a little smaller. So what are you? Aha, our triple. Oh, that smells really strong. No, it's not the bag. All right, so whatever's in here smells really strong. Oh, that's weird. Glasses. Oh, it's like the glasses bathed in the perfume. A lotion. And look at that. They say problems come in bunches like bananas. Apparently so do miniature compacts. Oh no, I think this is gonna be a duffel bag thing again. Is it? No, okay. We have the colorful one again. Accessories. You are. Okay. We've already seen these. Brush perfume nail polish. Oh no, this one really feels thin again. Are you the duffel? No. Oh, it's the third one of this again. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I'm not upset. I'm not, not one bit. I'm not upset. What do you give me here? Stupid sticker. Another compact. There's a thing in here. Come out. Okay. We've seen this. We have the cream, the brush, and the compact. Oh, that one's a little more floofy. What do we have? Okay, the same claspy one. I always wonder if the rings are gonna go on the inside of the bag or in the accessory bag. Let's see. Wow, when we really get compact, oh, did we just get two items only? Oh no, okay. Stupid sticker. Glasses, cream, and compact. Wow. Greens, I'm getting really worried. We've gotten all the rares, except the diamond, and we've gotten all the accessories except for the pink lip gloss? We've gotten the red one, but not the pink one. You are? Oh, you are new. You are new. Okay, now we got all the baggies, because we got everything else. I forgot to check them, but we hadn't gotten this one. Oh, this one is very... It feels like a material that could be a little something that rhymes with slinky. If you know what I mean, that's the texture I would expect, not from experience. And how does it feel here? Oh, magnetic. Okay, I see you. Shoulder strap and a handle. It's, it's funny because I had completely forgotten that we had bags. I was just looking at doubles and accessories at this point, but we have a new bag. Good for you. Very cute. I love the details here of the metal little pieces as well. And magnetic. Oh my god. Is this the one that's going to give us the diamond? Are you? Perfume, brush, and wallet. And a sticker. This one feels, again, pretty slim, so it's got to be one of those flat bags. And it is. Okay. 
another one of those cute pink ones. You have a diamond? No diamond for me? This is the before last one, by the way. This is the before last one. <laughs> Would you give me compact? Oh, it's just two items. Again? Oh, there you go. Compact brush and makeup palette. I'm so scared right now. And now it is time for the last one, which means it is customary to pray to the mini fashion gods. Dear mini fashion gods of Evermore, please protect me from doubles, triples, sunglasses, and please just give me a diamond. We have our pink baggie. Again, still cute on the inside. Accessories. <gasps> Sticker. I can't believe that the last one we're opening is a diamond. Okay, so we have nail polish, another wallet, and then, are you ready? Wait, this, this way? That way? A diamond ring! <laughs> Hello, diamond ring! Do you know why I've been wanting this so badly? <clears throat> Dear Grains, we've been together for so long, through rages, through good times, and heck, even some emotional times. You've been there for me, and I want to be there for you. Will you accept this ring and be my Grains forever? I love you. I love you so much. So let's take a closer look at it. Does it come out? Yes, it does. So this here feels like an eraser. And the ring itself, despite the fact that it is a bit silvery, the diamond part is not diamond at all. I'm not saying real diamond, but a little bit of a plastic or resin could have been pretty cool. I mean, if I'm paying all this money, you could have at least, if you're going to make it rare, make it special. So yeah, this is a little bit on the disappointing side in terms of creativity. Again, lazy. But good to know that they can come in any kind of packaging, regardless if the bag itself is a rare or not. Voila. Just letting you grains know that there's only two days left to get your very own squishy salt shaker plushie. And like I said, sales end this weekend. That's two days. If you don't grab them now, they are gone forever. A huge thank you to everyone, whether you grabbed a kit or not, your support means so much to me. Grains, I can't believe that the last one was the one that gave us the diamond. And the rares are just so underwhelming for something that costs $15 each and that's not really usable or cute in the same way as the real littles are. By the way, I'm not sponsored by any of them. I'm just being very honest. If I were to spend that kind of money and the real littles are cheaper and the materials are usable, I would say don't waste your money with the mini fashions. We've spent about $500 for an ugly diamond nonetheless, but I did propose to you. If you want to watch the previous mini fashions or actually, you know what? Watch some real, real littles. I'm going to post a playlist for you grains to watch because those are a little more endearing to my heart. And if you want to watch me have previously decorated eggs for the first time, this is what the thumbnail looks like. Definitely give it a watch. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.